lost in the internet. Knan loved the internet. He was always asking mommy for her phone so he could watch videos. Don't watch for too long, or you'll get pulled in, mommy warned him. First, Kuna watched a video of cartoon ninjas. Next, he watched one of a volcano spewing lava. Then, he watched one of a baby playing with a dog. With each video, Kuna's face came closer and closer to the screen. Suddenly, shwoo! Kuna was sucked into the internet. Where am I? Kunal had landed on a platform in a strange train station. All around him, trains whooshed in and out through the tunnels. A sign popped up above his head. It read, Core Router. How did I get here? Kunal wondered. And how will I get out? Then, Kunal saw a woman on the platform. She looked very busy directing the trains. Excuse me, auntie, where are all these trains going? Kunal asked her. I'm the transmission control protocol, she said busily, but you can call me TCP. These trains are taking data to different parts of the internet. Kunal watched TCP as her hands swiftly moved things around on a large screen. Wow, Kunal said. What are you doing, TCP auntie? I'm routing data through the internet, of course, replied TCP. Everything has to go fast, fast, fast. The trains whooshed away, carrying the data in every direction. Are all the phones and computers on the internet connected? Asked Kunal, an idea forming in his mind. Yes, said TCP auntie. All the devices on the internet are connected. These tunnels are actually wires, cables, radio waves, and satellites in space. TCP auntie, if all the devices on the internet are connected, can you help me get back home? Of course, TCP said. She looked Kunal up and down. We'll send you back by packet switching. First, we'll break you into a few thousand pieces. Then we'll send all your bits by different paths and put you back together later. No, Kunal said hurried. Is, isn't there another way? Hmm, TCP frowned. Sending you all together by circuit switching is a lot less efficient, but if you insist. Now, let's ask your mother for your address. But I know my address, Kunal said confused. Not your home address. TCP replied, your internet address. She opened up a chat window in the air and quickly explained everything to Kunal's mother. We host a website on my computer, kunalbabypictures.com. Can you find that? Said mommy. We can find your mommy's computer using the internet protocol, or IP, TCP said. Every computer and website on the internet has a unique number called an IP address. TCP opened a big book with DNS written on the cover. This book contains the IP addresses of every website on the internet, she told Kunal. She looked through it carefully until I found it. Here, said TCP, you'll need to be encrypted so that nobody else can grab you on the way. TCP handed Kunal a hat and silly glasses with a nose and mustache attached. You're very sensitive data indeed, she said. Goodbye, TCP auntie, Kunal replied cheerfully. Kunal was moving fast, very fast. His arms and legs tingled. And then, pop, he was back home. My dear, mommy said, it's good to have you back. Next time, learn about the internet by reading about it and not getting lost inside it. Kunal loved the internet but he loved being home even more. What is the internet? The internet is a name for all the different computers, phones, and tablets that are connected to each other. It is a system that's spread across the entire world. 
It lets us transfer data from one computer to another through copper wires, fiber optic cables, radio transmissions, and satellites in space. Every device that is connected to the internet has a unique number called an IP address. How does data travel? Many kinds of data are sent through the internet, such as emails, web pages, videos, chats, and pictures. The Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, is a set of rules and procedures used by computers to transfer data by first breaking into chunks called packets. Then the packets are put back together again in the right order when they reach their destination. This method of data transfer is called packet switching. In circuit switching, the entire data is sent through a single path. This is a less efficient method than packet switching.